Hi guys, this is Malia with the Tree Market, and I'm just going to show you how I'm aging this um, pantry door. So I've paint, I've cleaned it with white lightning very well, with a finishing pad, scrubbed it really good, twice rinsed it with vinegar and water, and then I've applied these would you bin moldings, and um, I did that live as well. Um, applied these would you bin moldings using wood glue this is one molding this is a set and then this is a trim that i've done all the way to the bottom of the door which i will show you later and this is just two coats of annabelle and blue and now i'm going to show you how i age it and make it look vintage and old i'm going to use pine cone this is usually the color i use when i'm trying to make a door look old like there's wood coming through it. Um, I think it resembles closely the color of like oak, I guess, kind of. So I use it for that reason. I like to use a natural bristle brush, like the French tip. Um, yeah, so what I do first before I do any embellishment always is I spray it with Easy Peasy Spray Wax. It's a liquid wax that Dixie Bell carries and I shake it until I don't hear it swashing around like it's water, but it becomes a lot thicker sounding. Okay. And this is just a wax I use to give me some movement with whatever I am um, trying to apply, like an embellishment layer. It's not a wax that I use for a finishing wax. Then I just barely dab any paint onto my brush and then I usually wipe dab it back on a shop towel or my apron in this case and I just run it across the edge of the door like it would have been worn you know over time if the door was painted and then it you know is worn over time that edge would start to pull the paint would pull back you would start to see the actual color of the wood pop through so that's what happened here and then i spray a little bit more wax on if i need it to get some more movement and then i i'm just dry brushing a very tiny amount of paint because i got the amount i showed you and then i just dab it off so this is very little paint very little paint at all Let's see if i can get up really close here And see how it's moving? It becomes almost like a colored wax that I just made. And it lets me kind of streak the paint out better than if it was just water. Like it won't blend. So then I'm gonna go to the top and do the same thing. I'm just gonna add a little bit of, I'm doing the same thing on the top as I did on that side. Where I've added, where I've added the pine cone up there and now I'm spraying my easy peasy spray wax on my brush and on my little bit of pine cone that I've put up there and I'm just kind of fanning it out letting it go down a little bit I let mine dry just a little bit too much. Okay, there you go. And the Easy Peasy Spray Wax is going to give it enough playability that it moves without totally blending in or trying to pull your under layer up. just like that. And then you will grab your Annabelle in blue that I've used for the whole door. And you just put a little bit of that on your brush. Spray it again with spray wax. And you're just kind of letting this Kind of rub over that edge you just did. 
kind of make it look more realistic. Kind of go the wrong way and then end with the right way so your streaks go down. It just kind of creates a little bit of highlighting and it just makes it look old. Kind of run that over your edge so it doesn't look like you have some strong deposits of paint. Yeah, hopefully you can see what that looks like. See if I turn the lights down if that helps at all. See the edge looking like it's different colors. Hopefully you can see that. And then you carry that down and you do the edge all the way down on the sides of the door. And then the next step is going in and making the actual would you bend moldings look like my knobs that I'm doing for my kitchen cabinets. So these are my knobs, some of them. So they're all very different colors. They're very boho, wildflowers, bright primary colors. So I'm wanting to bring that out into this and make it kind of a, a folky boho vibe to go with my cabinets. I put a bunch of paints on a little palette holder. So I put, um, I made a little bit of mixtures. So I put Daisy here, um, Honky Tonk Red here. This is Tree Frog Green mixed with Kernel, or Daisy, Kernel, uh, Daisy and Tree Frog Green there. And then this is Mason Dixon Gray, which is a hint of Lucky Lavender and then Putty, okay? So, so I'll show you on this little strip of trim first. And I'm using just a plastic little palette knife thing, spatula that you can get like anywhere. So after I've got these colors mixed, I'm gonna set that down and real quick, I'm gonna grab my pine cone again. I'm gonna grab my pine cone again since this is the color that we're using for our wood popping through, I'm just gonna put a little bit of pine cone on my artist brush. And I'm gonna spray it with water. And I'm just going to paint this trim really like sporadically. So I want it to look like this trim is wood. Well, I mean, because it is basically, but I want it to look like it's the original trim and over time, the blue paint is just wore back, right? So I want the undertone to be this pine cone and I'm kind of making it sparsity by spraying it with water. Sorry, I have to go up and down my stool. Spray it again with the pine cone. And this is how I'm painting the wood you bend because the wood you bend is like, you know, a lighter, brighter wood color. And then I did paint, you know, the edges of the wood you bend. I painted all the way up the edges so that the sides of the wood you bend would be the same color as the door. Just real sparsity, not covering the whole thing. I'm not trying to make it perfect. I'm just wanting to make sure there's no like wood you bend, wood color popping through, and that I'm not painting this next step over Annabelle and Blue. Same with these. I'm gonna paint this with the pine cone, just misting my brush so that it's not super thick. And see how there's like some wood you've been showing there. See where I've done my, where I've met my wood you've been trim to my wood you've been molding. Right here where I cut my trim in a triangle point and popped it up in this little nook. And then I filled it with Dixie mud. So it appears to be all one piece.
So here's a bunch of Woodgy Ben Wood showing here. And I can go back and touch up this little edges with Annabelle and Blue afterwards. Some more. Now it's starting to look like it's really a piece of wood, original wood molding, right? Just straight paint without any water just to kind of fill in any air little air bubble spots you know or anything and just further creates that look that this is not two pieces trimmed together it is one solid molding. See how that looks? I'll do that over here too. Back to my palette where I used um, a bunch of, I put a bunch of the colors on here. So Honky Tonk Red is what I'm using. Tree Frog Green mixed with um, Daisy, Daisy by itself. Mason Dixon Gray mixed with a drop of Lucky Lavender and then Putty. So you could use any colors you want. These just happen to go with my cabinet hardware. And I'm just going to apply these like that because I want them to stay on just the raised areas. So I'm going to take a little bit of the putty. Let's see here, I want to go. I'm looking at the bottom where I already started doing this pattern. Sorry, Tree Frog Green and Daisy Blend. And I just highlight with other colors, like so I'm using the daisy 
here just to kind of highlight. It looks more, I don't know, dimensional. Taking my honky tonk red here and hitting these little scrollies. I'm not trying to get a perfect coverage. I want it to look broken and like, you know, worn and old. And then taking my Mason Dixon Gray mixed with Lucky Lavender. I'm just gonna dab that over the red, just some little droppy spots. So it looks more real. And then I'm gonna do the same over here as I did on the other side. Back to my green mix. These are all Dixie Belle paint colors. And then I'm gonna go back to my putty. And then I'm gonna take my, just a little dabby do ya of the daisy and just kind of barely hit the green. And then go over my putty just a little bit. how I'm doing that and then I'll just keep that same pattern going as I go down on this trim and this is the trim that's would you bend trim so I have a link for that and then I'm gonna go up here and decide what I want to do now with these little scrollies mm -hmm. let's wait on those a second let's make these red Go in here just a little bit like that. Just kind of decide how you want it to go in your little grooves. This is another Would You Been molding that's on the Dixie Bell site with that link. And when you use a little spatula, it really does create that like chippy, like real aged look because you can't help but apply the paint like that. The green in the middle here. My arm's getting tired. I've been doing this for a little while. Before I came on here on the bottom part. I'm liking the, I think I'm gonna keep the green going. And then I'm, of course, going to hit it with another color on top to kind of highlight it.
All right, now I'm going to take my Lucky Lavender Mason Dixon Gray mix and just hit these little scrolls on top. Might hit this little center part. These are like the colors that were in my knobs. So it had this like purpley tint with this like reddish tint. That's where I got this color scheme. But it's kind of beautiful. It's very boho. Bohemian or folk, kind of folky. Do my putty with my daisy. At least show you this one side done close to it. Oops, sorry. And then I'm going to highlight it with the daisy. I always highlight. Highlight gives you the, it makes it look like it's something that was truly hand painted. It just really like helps. So highlight it with a brighter color, whatever color you decide to use. So if you're doing blues and say you wanted navy or something use like um, cobalt blue or something for your highlight cool and then I'll highlight just a little bit of yellow on top of my green A little bit of red on my purple leaves. A little bit of purple over my red. See how that really helps it. I'll play back and show you where we're kind of at. So see how we've highlighted all that detail to look very original and natural. All the fade around the edges is really making it look aged. <laughs> 